Now, yes, we can go a little bit more technical and to say that we can look at what we call the rule of V, and we can say that based on the rule of V, we can determine that additionally you can have water or you can have runoff going this kind of a direction and that kind of direction. And as such, again, it catches into the basin. In addition to that, sinkholes. Sinkholes is basically a natural geomorphic feature of carbonate areas. So Manchester, certain areas of Manchester have sinkholes. Now I'm going to basically try to teach you how a sinkhole looks on the map because, to be honest, sinkholes look similar to how hills are demarcated on a map. So you need to have additional training eye to be able to identify that, right? In essence, this is just to bring to your attention to make you understand that where sinkholes exist, or if you live in a sinkhole, you have to understand that that is basically the natural point for where water will go underground. And you have to also take into consideration that where the sinkhole exists, there now exists the hazard of subsidence, or in other words, caving. See? So you must take into consideration that when we talk about flooding in carbonate areas, we have to take into consideration that it's not just superficial flooding, but it's basically the reality that because you have underground, there are also other hazards as well that you have to take into consideration, such as, you know, caving in, subsidence.